Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. First things first, I am filming with a broken camera. A screen on my camera went completely black. I have no idea what's going on around me, how I appear on camera. Am I a little bit to the left? Am I a little bit more to the right? Am I a little bit lower than usual? So I have no idea. I did schedule an appointment with the store where I got this camera from and they said if they will be able to fix this camera in store, I can get camera back a little bit faster. If not, they would have to ship it somewhere to fix it and ship it back so stay with me it will be resolved very quickly hopefully today i would like to use qualitex balloons from lauradale paper and balloon company like usual you guys go check them out they have different types shapes sizes of balloons balloons from different companies party supplies you can always use my code anastasia10 for 10 percent off at checkout this is an affiliate code and it's totally up to you if you want to use this code or not this code is valid for your first purchase for new customers only i will link and list everything in the description under the video and without any further ado let's go this is the box that i received from lord del paper and balloon company i am so grateful they support all of my crazy sometimes ideas i don't know where to start this box is huge look at this it's so heavy let's see what we have let's pick something it's gonna be pearl for sure but there's a whole bunch of whole bunch of balloons what I decided to use in today's video I chose two colors pearl mint green and pearl lavender colors in three sizes 5 11 and 16 inches I was browsing through internet and I found this beautiful beautiful picture by we balloons you can find their account on Instagram and I decided to kind of recreate this setup that they made I won't be double stuffing my balloons I want to leave them single and I just want to show off that pearly sheen that these balloons have in this picture clearly you can see that they double stuffed these balloons I might add some of the gold that they have here and maybe some leaves or flowers I don't know I am excited to see what I can create so let's go and see what I'll come up with I am ready to blow all of my balloons I will be mixing colors in today's video and sizes as well so I'm taking two different colored balloons blowing them at the same time I'm done blowing my balloons I'm pressing them against the floor to give my balloons more rounded shape and then tie them together into a pair I will be adding 16 inch purple balloons that's the only 16 inch balloons that I have unfortunately I don't have uh, any 16 inch in pearl mint green color so I am mixing 16 with 11 and then I will be blowing my five inch balloons separately from any other size but i will be mixing these two uh, colors together as well I hope whatever I have here right now will be enough for what I'm thinking to do. If anything, I can always blow more balloons, but here is what I'm doing for now. I am taking two different sizes pair of balloons. I am interlining them together to create a cluster of four. Then I'm taking a third pair and adding this third pair into my cluster, interlining everything together to create a cluster like this so you can absolutely add um, five inch pairs into your clusters as well as I am about to do right now here we go it looks cute as well so keep on pairing keep on clustering let's go to construct our 
Golden Creation on our gold hoop. So what I'm doing is I am taking my cluster and literally intertwine my cluster with the hoop that I have over here. So pushing my hoop between my balloons and taking balloons and intertwine them together to close the gap that you entered the hoop in. looks great so that's all i'm gonna do to this so keep on inserting keep on filling your hoop Everything looks pretty good. Now I want to fill in spaces with my five inch balloon clusters. I am using rubber bands. I like to keep them on my wrist. Easier access. I am taking one of the rubber bands and looping it over one of the balloons. And now you can stretch this rubber band and fill in spaces on your garland, looping that rubber band on any balloon where you think you want this cluster to be. You can absolutely use a low temperature glue gun, glue dots, 260s balloons to fill in spaces. It's totally up to you, whatever works for you. So let's go, let's finish this up. One more thing you guys, I forgot to mention. This frame, this hoop that I'm using is incredibly unstable. If you watched my other videos where I use this hoop, you know my opinion about this hoop. It's, uh, in my opinion, total waste of money because it's super, super unstable and uh, it's always leaning. So I will link a very similar hoop with better base in the description under the video. Let's go. Now I think I covered everything, so we're good. least you guys one more step that I want to do if you remember that picture that I showed you in the beginning of this video that setup had uh, gold confetti balloons here and there throughout the whole thing so I decided not to go and copy the whole thing completely but rather get inspired by that setup so instead of using gold confetti balloons I want to use these beautiful artificial yellow flowers. I bought these flowers at Walmart. I can't remember how much I paid per one bunch. One bunch looks like this and they are very, very pretty. And I feel like they're going to match these colors that I have on my hoop very, very well. So let's go insert these bunches of flowers. I'm just simply pressing them between my balloons and that will hold my flowers very well. And here is what I have for you guys today. Look how cute everything looks, you guys. I love this color palette. I love pop of yellow, and I'm so happy that I just didn't go and copy the setup that I showed you in the beginning of this video, but instead I created something very unique and absolutely and totally me. I love the quality of these uh, balloons. I didn't have problems with basically any of them. I only lost four or five inch balloons. Three popped on me while I was blowing and uh, one had a hole and it was deflating on me on a spot. I will link and list everything in the description under the video and I will share another website where you can purchase a hoop stand but better 
quality. I will share some pictures at the end of this video. Well, this is it, you guys. This is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video inspired you to create something out of pearl balloons. Let me know if you have any other questions. So just leave them in the comment section below and I will try to help you out to the best of my abilities. If you're new here, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more videos and great ideas. And I hope all of you will have a wonderful day and I will see you back very soon. Bye.